ukulele mic here. Without a doubt, the most common strumming pattern for the ukulele is the eighth note strum. The eighth note strum. And there are two of them. There's one that's called a straight eighth note and the other one which is called a swing eighth note. So I'm going to show you right now how to do the straight and then I'll show you how to do the swing. So take a look at this. The eighth note strum consists basically of just simply eighth note down, up, down, up, down, up strums. And there's two ways you can do that. You can do it with the index finger, with the nail of the index finger going down, and the flesh of the index finger coming up. So there's going to be a slightly different sound going down than going up. A little, little brighter going down. Uh, the flesh gives a little warmer sound coming up. So it would sound like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So one measure would be one and two and three and four and. So there's four beats to the measure and they're all sp they are split up into two uh, eighth notes for, eight, for each beat. So you have one and two and three and four and. That's a C chord. And then we switch to an A minor. Notice how the strum continues to go. Go to an F. Strum doesn't stop. C. And each one of the each one of the strokes is even. That's why they call it a straight eighth pattern. Now another way of doing that would be to take the thumb and use the thumb for the down strokes and the flesh of the index finger for the up strokes. So you can go down, up, down, up. There's a C chord. A minor. back to C. Now take a look at this uh, little notation right now and you'll see what it looks like in tablature notation and also in standard notation for the straight eighth pattern. Now the swing eighth strum is probably the most used, the most popular strum and ukulele playing. It occurs in a lot of Hawaiian music. Um, it is st still a down up down up strum. You can use the finger, index finger, or you can use the thumb and the finger. But when you do it there's kind of a syncopation to it. There's a, a skipping feel to it. So instead of doing straight eighths, you do this. Now when practicing this strum, it's, it's a, a good idea to practice straight eighths, then practice going to swing, back to straight, and going back to swing, so that you get the, um, the feel of the two different patterns, so you can have both of them at your command when you need them. Not all songs sound good with a swing eighth pattern, and a lot of people will, will get that pattern down so solid that they can't get out of it. So you don't want to be stuck in a straight eighth pattern or swing eighth pattern. But the swing eighth is a very common, very useful pattern. And it just goes down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Just like that. It's very simple. Now here's, once again, notation uh, both in tablature form and in standard notation for the swing eighth strum. Hi, so this series of video tutorials on strumming are referenced to Everybody's Ukulele Method Book 1 from FJH Music Company. Everybody's Ukulele Method Book 1. Uh, I uh, authored this book with Philip Graber, editor of the FJH Music Series for Guitar. And um, this is a great method book for, this is really, really good if you want to do classroom ukulele. So this is a good curriculum book for teaching music. Now, specifically, we reference to page 47 in the book, Strumming Patterns. And here is the entire list of patterns that I'm covering 
in these video lessons. So there you have it, and as always, happy strumming.